Well, as I told Matthew, I've reviewed his test results and I've made a decision about his case. You look kind of serious. Well, spinal surgery is serious business, one that I don't take lightly. That's why I'm the top in my field. So you think you can help me walk again? Well, if your parents agree to put you in my hands, I'd say it looks pretty good. This is awesome. So I'm going to be able to, to walk again and play basketball? Hey, that's the goal. So is it really complicated? Well, spinal surgery always is. But as I said, I've performed this procedure many times successfully. And after reviewing Matthew's test results, I feel confident that I can do the same for him. Great, let's do it. Can you explain this procedure to us? Well, it's complicated. Uh, hard to explain in layman's terms. Uh, can you at least tell us when this might happen? I think we can get Matthew on the schedule at the hospital in the next two weeks. Are you kidding me? Uh, um, okay, dumb it down for us, Doc. Um, what exactly does this procedure entail? Who cares? I could be walking again in two weeks. Sweetie, I don't think that's what Dr. Evans is saying. Is it, Doctor? Are you guaranteeing my son that he'll be able to walk again? There are no guarantees. But as I said, I've performed this successfully many times. And you have a 100% uh, success rate? Well, not quite 100. Okay. And the risks? Oh, even with minor surgery, there are risks. Uh, okay, I need a straight answer now. What kind of risks are we looking at? Dad, I want to walk again. Don't you want that too? We know you do, Matthew, but it's not that simple. Well, it is for me. Well, sweetheart, we have to know exactly what we're dealing with. Why? I just want to do it. Matthew, your parents are right. You should understand exactly what this surgery involves. Now, first off, your spinal cord is severely damaged. Yeah, tell me about it. But it's not severed, which means that we can repair it. Now, once we repair the cord, then his recuperation process begins. More physical therapy? Big time. But assuming that all goes well, there's a chance that you could regain full use of your legs. We've talked to a, a lot of doctors after Matthew's accident. None of them have been as glib or as positive about the surgery as you have. Sounds like he finally found the right surgeon. He said assuming all goes well. And if it doesn't? I mean, outside the normal dangers of surgery, what are the chances that this procedure will kill my son? Full disclosure? Yes. Sometimes a patient can have an adverse reaction to anesthesia. Uh, sometimes there's a risk of infection. And under certain very specialized conditions, spinal surgery can be life-threatening. Life-threatening? Oh. You see, Matthew, this is the stuff that we have to know. It's not going to happen to me. It's a big decision, one that you need to make together as a family. Look, Matthew, it's very likely that you'll come through this surgery with more sensation and movement in your legs than you have now. I want that more than anything. Well, me too. But there can be anomalies in anyone's OR. Anomalies? That's quite a euphemism. Miss Hannon, I don't take my responsibilities lightly. I would never recommend this procedure to anyone if I didn't believe that I could do it successfully. Matthew, I'm told that you like basketball. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Be nice to make jump shots again, wouldn't it? I've inundated you enough. If you decide to move forward, please let me know as soon as possible as it can take time to book the team. Look, Mom, Dad, I know you guys freaked out, but I mean, being able to walk again or play basketball, it's worth it, right? I mean, I almost have to have the surgery. Oh, absolutely, positively not. Well, I just came from seeing your mother and Mr. Buchanan. And? I'm prepared to do the surgery. I told them that I'm very confident that Matthew will walk again. Are you sure? Well, I wouldn't say it if I didn't think so. Uh, oh, my God. That, that's incredible. 
You're absolutely sure my brother will walk again. Well, no procedure is 100%, but... I don't want my brother to have any false hopes. No, he doesn't. I made it very clear to him. Rachel, I can help Matthew. He's young, in good health, his spinal cord isn't severed. He's the perfect candidate for this. But the decision is theirs. What's to decide? You're gonna fix him. Yes, you heard the man. He can't guarantee that. No guarantees. Okay, well, um, I just, I really hope that Matthew understands that. Oh, he does. And so do his parents. Look, Rachel, I wouldn't even attempt this if I wasn't confident that I could pull this off. Pull it off? I'm sorry, is this a stunt in a magic show? No, excuse me, look, we doctors use shorthand sometimes. What are my mom and Bo saying about this? Well, they're talking about it right now. But if I were them and I had a nationally recognized expert who could give me good odds that my son would walk again, I'd give me a yes. See, I told you things would work out. I'm sure your family would like to hear you weigh in on this, but like I said... If you were a betting man, you would bet on yourself. This is my brother we're talking about. I don't think betting on his health is an option. Rachel, it's not like that. My brother's the best doctor, like, ever. I hope you're right. I'll walk you to your car. She'll come around. Like, speaking of brothers, is he really dating her? Hope so. Son. This is emotional for all of us, but I don't want you to think for a second that your mom and I